hello everyone welcome back to another video on crack concepts and in today's video we will be solving another lead code i have an entire playlist on my channel where i am solving various lead codes various sql lead codes so make sure you check that playlist out and without further ado let's just begin with today's question which is we need to find out managers with at least five direct reports before I start discussing this query, before I give the solution for this query, make sure you hit the notification button on this channel so you do not miss any videos from this channel. And yeah, without further ado, let's just begin with this question. So this is our table employee, which has ID, name, department, manager ID. These are the columns that the employee table has and ID is the primary key. Each row of this table indicates the name of an employee, the department and the ID of their manager. No employee will be the manager of themselves. Write a solution to find managers with at least five direct reports. Return the result table in any order. The result format is in the following sample. So let's see this example. This is our sample employee table. These are the IDs. These are the employee IDs and these are the manager IDs. As you can see, except 101, rest all the employees have manager ID as 101. And there are five such employees that have manager ID 101. Which means 101 is a manager and has five direct employees, has five employees reporting to him directly. Hence, the output should be John. Why? Because 101. 101 is here and what is the name of that employee? John. So, we need to write a query to find managers with at least 5 direct reports. So, let's begin. Whenever there is a number in the question, like you need to find 5 direct reports, 5 something, which means we might have to use count. Let's write select count manager ID from employee group by manager ID now what will this give this will give me the count of manager IDs in the employee table and it will group by manager ID now if I run it And if I see the output over here, it is giving me count of manager ID 0 and 5. 0 is for this record over here and 5 is for 101. And I will also write manager ID beside that. And when I run this, Now the output is null, count of manager ID 0, 101, what is the count of manager ID 101 in the table employee 5, what is the count of manager ID null in the employee table 0. Now I need to add a condition, I need to filter the data to give me only results where the count of manager ID is greater than equal to 5. Because the question is write a solution to find managers with at least 5. At least 5 means greater than or equal to 5. And since there is a group by clause over here and we are using an aggregate, we cannot use where over here. Instead, we will be using having. Having count of manager ID greater than or equal to 5. Now when I run it, this is the answer. I actually do not need to select count of manager ID over here, but that's okay. Now, I just don't need the manager ID. I need the name. I need the name associated with manager ID 101, with ID 101. I need to find out the name associated with ID 101. So I'll write another select query over here. Select ID from employee where ID 
is equal to and I will remove this count over here count from here I will remove count from here and yeah now if I run this Uh, this needs to be select and sorry this needs to be name over because we need the associated name and then when I run it it is accepted the output is drawn as needed but since this is a subquery I can get an error over here hence I will use in over here because in this particular case this inner query is just giving one output one result but if there are more records over here and different manager IDs it will return more than one record so if you write equal to over here it will give an error because ID equal to you cannot have multiple values in the subquery hence we will be using in over here and again I run it and let's submit it and it has been accepted now I will be sharing another way to solve this query whenever we have sub queries we can also convert that query to joins and joins are mostly more efficient so let's convert this query into query using joins and if you all have seen my other videos whenever we have a question where there is employee data and manager data in the very same table we use the concept called self join so let's do that let's write the join condition first from employee e inner join employee m the second time when i'm using the employee table to join it i will be pulling manager data out of it on employee dot manager id is equal to m dot id group by m dot id having count having count star greater than equal to five and we need m dot name when i run it this has been accepted what i'm doing is so over here the employee table has been given an alias e and then i'm doing inner join on the very same table employee and calling it m and then I am joining it on this condition e dot manager ID because I need to join this with m dot ID and then I need to group it by the manager IDs and then I will add the having condition the filtering condition and then I will select m dot name let's submit this and it has been accepted i hope this video was helpful make sure to subscribe the channel thank you so much for watching the video check out other playlists check out other lead code solutions on the channel as well hit the notification button check out our sql ebook thank you so much for watching